Rachel live at Augusta University Reese Library, room 308. Joining me here is Barbara. Well, Rachel, we have some breaking news. In our viewing area, there's an emerging disease that we need to be informed about. All right, and she brought with us a short informative video, so let's stay tuned for that. Oh, it's Rachel. Hey, Barbara. What are you doing out here? Hey, Rachel. Hey, Angel. What are you doing? Hey, Rachel. We're just walking the dogs. Oh, that's the woods. so much fun. Make sure you check yourself for ticks when you get home tonight. Why do I need to check myself for ticks, Rachel? Well, auriculosis is a tick-borne bacterial infection that you can pick up while walking through the woods and forests. So it's really important that you check yourself for ticks. Well, what are some signs and symptoms that I need to look out for? Go. So some signs and symptoms you should be worried about are mild flu-like symptoms such as headache, fever, nausea. Sometimes you can get a rash or a cough develop, just some symptoms like that, just really mild flu symptoms. When did these signs and symptoms start showing up, Rachel? Well, Barbara, signs and symptoms usually occur one to two weeks after you've been bitten by the infected tick. Are the signs and symptoms the same for everyone? Well, no, all, everybody's different, so your symptoms may be different than somebody else's. So if I just get bit by an infected tick, I just have it? No, actually the only tick that has been found to be carried in is the Lone Star Tick. No, oh, actually the tick has to be on for at least 24 hours. What if it's been on for more than 24 hours? Should I be worried? Well, if you don't know how long it's been on, you should check to make sure that it's not engorged. If it's engorged, you should definitely seek medical attention promptly. Otherwise, you could wait to see if you have some symptoms that start to show up. Well, what about these little guys? You should definitely make sure to check them too because <laughs> Ehrlichiosis was first found in wild animals and domesticated dogs, so they could they could get infections from the tick as well. Okay, well I definitely don't want us sick, especially this little guy. So I guess we'll have to go home and check, our, check ourselves for ticks. <laughs> Bye Rachel! Bye Barbara! Thanks for staying tuned for that short informative video. Thank you, Barbara, for bringing that along. Wow, well, that was a really informative video, and I definitely am going to be more cautious next time out, I'm out in the woods or hiking or camping. Definitely, me too. So viewers, definitely start wearing some long sleeve clothes when you're walking through the woods or through tall grass, and check yourself for ticks when you get home.